Hello, and thanks again for tuning in to Worshiping Jesus channel. Uh, I want to address just what we've come to know as social networking, what we've come to know as the Facebook forum, the forum that Facebook has created for you and I to, to talk and to express ourselves. Now, Jesus said that unless your righteousness, unless my righteousness, goes beyond that of the scribes and Pharisees, that we will in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh, now, what was he condemning there? What was he, what was he rejecting? What does Jesus Christ consistently uh, reject and condemn in his ministry? In his ministry? He, he rejects and he condemns hypocrisy. The reason why Jesus Christ wasn't harsh with the sinners is because they were in sin and he was bringing them to righteousness. What he rejects are those who come to righteousness, forsake him, and go back out into the world. Uh, that is a consistent theme throughout the scripture. The word of God says in John 3, it says, He that believes on the Son is not condemned, but he that does not believe is condemned already. Uh, Jesus told uh, a group of disciples in, in John, he says, If I have not come to them, then they would have no sin, but because I have come to them and, and they rejected me, now their sin remains. So one of the things that we see on Facebook is we see uh, outside of the true evangelists, outside of the true people who are there to support the work of Christ, who are, who are there to support the love of Christ, who are there to maintain family connections or connections with friends and, and, and also to maintain their integrity. Outside of that, what we do have are many people who profess Christ, but, uh, and, and they'll illustrate that with one particular Facebook post, but they might, with the next post, illustrate their openness to worldly things. Uh, when you look on the pages, their info, you can look on my info, I can look on your info. When you look on that info, you see what they like. Oh, I like Dr. Dre. I like Eminem. I like Nicki Minaj, and I feel inspired by these people. And when Don Cornelius died, who was the Soul Train promoter and producer, and when Whitney Houston died, when, when Michael Jackson died, uh, these people, many of them, many of them, and not all of them, because some of you out there are evangelists, you love the Lord, and your posts illustrate that. Some of you out there are prophets and apostles and pastors and teachers, and you're using Facebook as a way of, re of, of establishing communication with people that otherwise you would be disconnected from. But Jesus let us know that if our righteousness, if our walk with God doesn't go beyond that of the hypocrites, the scribes and the Pharisees, then we cannot get to heaven. We cannot arrive at the pearly gates. We can't arrive at the streets of gold. We cannot enter into New Jerusalem if you and I are double-minded. The Word of God says in the book of James, says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Uh, and, and so you have people who are on this social networking site that are expressing themselves. And because they are expressing themselves and they are expressing themselves to the entire network of people with whom they're networked, uh, it's, rep it's misrepresenting the call of God on their lives. And you have to ask yourself, am I misrepresenting the call of God on my life? Am I truly surrendered to Christ? And if I'm not, am I broken over that? If I'm not truly surrendered to Christ, does that concern me? Am I concerned with my state of mind? Am I concerned with my state of being? Do I have pleasure in unrighteousness? Do I click the like button when somebody uses profanity in a particular post? When somebody is being combative or contentious or strife-filled? Or when someone's walking in darkness? Do I like them? Do I support them? Do I post that that's what I also am in agreement with. Because the Word of God asks us the question in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. It says, what communion has light with darkness? What fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And so there are many people who profess to know God, like Titus, like, like it says in the book of Titus, but in their works they deny Him. And so if your righteousness is not excessive, Beyond the right, beyond that that Christ condemned, then you are not going to enter into eternal life. So, 
It's one thing to struggle with sin, and it's another thing to promote the sin you're struggling with. It's one thing to struggle with the understanding of the Word of God, and it's another thing to promote error, even though the Scriptures clearly condemn it. So we spend much of our time on Facebook, on YouTube, on the Internet, doing something on our cell phones, doing something on, uh, on, on, on some other thing, uh, bound and distracted by technology, when in actuality, we should be spending time eating the Word of God, spending time praying, spending time going out and ministering to the lost and to the broken, spending time uh, maintaining connections in the Spirit by faith, spending time at work providing for the household that you're in, spending time with the household that you're in, spending time in the presence of the brothers. There's so many things that we are called to do on a daily basis, and we allow ourselves to be enraptured by that which does not profit. And worse yet, these people that we friend and connect with, they see our hypocrisy. They might not see it as hypocrisy, but they might see it as you just being quote-unquote real. Really what? Really righteous or really hypocritical? Really unrighteous? A double-minded man will not get anything from the Lord. And if you get anything from the Lord is out of pure grace and mercy. But I don't want you to think, I don't want you to think that God accepts that. Because the Word of God lets us know that Jesus Christ was against hypocrisy. He said, They that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So truth should be a fleshing out of my worship to him. If I can't, I should tell him that I can't. I should approach him on that basis. I should not click like, click, you know, well, this, I'm a fan of, uh, Snoop Dogg. I'm a fan of, of Nas. I'm a fan of, 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 of Eminem or 50 Cent. And I like Desperate Housewives. I like that. You're, 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 you're representing the lukewarm. You're representing what, what God rejects and and declares in Revelation 3 that he will vomit out of his mouth. And so, I don't want to uh, spend too much time on this, but I do want to uh, compel everybody out there who professes to be a believer in Jesus Christ. If any man name the name of Christ, let him depart from iniquity. If any of you, if any of you, if any of you name the name of Christ, then turn from sin. Turn from sin, turn from unrighteousness. It, whoever you are should be evident in what you are on the internet. It should be evident. There are many people out there who are nomads, wanderers, don't go to church, condemn the church, reject the church, but they're on Facebook preaching and don't follow man and follow God. What do you mean follow God? In your post, you like Soul Train. In your post, you like Mr. Cow. In your post, you like Bust Around. You like the world. But you're condemning those in the church for flaws and weaknesses. That's, hypo that's hypo hypocrisy. Total, total hypocrisy. So, repent and believe the love of Christ for you. Repent and believe the gospel. I pray the Holy Spirit convict everybody that this pertains to. If you think that it pertains to you, Pray and ask God to sanctify you of it. Because unless your righteousness and my righteousness go beyond that of the scribes and Pharisees, you're not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You might need to unfriend some people. You might need to block some people's posts. You might need to do that. And if that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do. But whatever you got to do, if your right hand offends you, man, chop it off. If your left hand offends you, cut it off. It's better to enter into life with no hands than into hell with both of them.